part one of this episode of The Grow Wire Show, we learned how Jason Walsh's passion for fitness turned him into one of LA's top trainers. In part two, we find out how his frustration with trendy but unsafe fitness classes led him to develop his science-based climbing workout for Rise Nation. You're watching The Grow Wire Show. My colleagues were sending me these young clients that were getting injured. That's where it started. It was the reason why is that I wanted to put something out there that I thought was better. And, and why climbing? And, 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 and the climbing motion itself is a superior motion because it's reinforcing proper movement patterns. We don't teach babies how to crawl. It's innate, right? right. That crawling motion is the climbing motion. Walking, climbing, running, it's all the same motion. It's a cross crawl yeah. kind of pattern, right? Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of studies out there that show that people with you know head and neck injuries and things like that what they want to do to reinforce and get the body kind of like firing again and get that nervous system working is to get them to start crawling. And we can reinforce those patterns and get people out of some of the really bad patterns and fix a lot of the issues just by doing that motion. You know, you start to feel it, you know, like this is how the body's supposed to function. Yeah. I had to figure out how to get to the point where this was going to be something that I can you know, turn into a business. And I had the major epiphany, which was the methodology. Intervals are boring. They're great scientifically, but my love of music came into this. Inside of different types of music are different beats per minute and rhythms and tempos. And then I was like, I was thinking about the, the climbing motion, the one, two, one, two, there it is. Yeah. You know, like there's my methodology. And that was, I think, the moment that the creative mind really started firing. Yeah. You know, that's when I was starting to have fun with it. Yeah. How can we just take things a step outside of the box, think outside of the box, you know? Like, how can we push this industry in a new direction? In a way to enhance the effectiveness of the climber, you have got to distract the mind of the fact that you're in so much discomfort. If the lights weren't there, I don't think it would be that much fun, yeah. right? And I wanted to create an experience. I made that mistake of going, okay, so all these classes are an hour. My class has to be an hour. I, I have friends in the fitness industry and they're like, you're going to do a 30 minute class? We were the first to do 30 minutes. And we did 30 minutes because I felt like it started to really suck at 30 minutes to 45 minutes to an hour. That was the absolute sweet spot. Jason knew his idea for Rise Nation had major potential. However, with no prior business experience, he had to learn some big lessons the hard way. You know, I never claimed to be a business mogul. I don't have a background in business. I funded everything my, on my own. I've never had an investor. Grandma taught me, save your money, <laughs> right? I got a bad contractor. I got into bad debt with really bad loans. And you know, I'm down at the studio, I'm cutting flooring myself. Everything you can imagine that could go wrong went wrong. And it was because of my ignorance. I didn't have good people surrounding me, but these are opportunities to really wake up and grow up and learn about business. There's a lot of lessons to be learned in these failures. You yeah, know? for sure. And that's something that I think I've gotten really good at recognizing. Tune in for part three of this episode of The Grow Wire Show to find out how Rise Nation cultivated a following in Los Angeles and ended up expanding to a rather surprising second location thanks to the help of one of the world's greatest athletes.